What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel here, my name is Brandon. In today's video, we're covering the concept of buying income. This is actually how I personally approach a time like now in the stock market. I think it's a very, very, very valuable way to look at things when stock market is crashing and shares are dropping left, right and center. I'm getting all sorts of questions, not only in the comments, but like literally from friends of mine. Like I have a personal friend who called me and said, should I be selling out of the stock market now because there's a lot worse to come and then waiting and going and buying back in. And that's such a classic question that you get every time the stock market drops. We got the exact same thing back in the COVID pandemic for those of you that heard, were investing around that time. And we've had the exact same thing probably in all the other crashes and going forward, it's gonna be the exact same thing. And I will just start off this video right off the bat. If you've been following the channel a long time, you guys already know my answer to this. Do I know whether we're at a bottom or whether there's more in store, like more drops in store? And should we be selling out and waiting? We definitely shouldn't be selling out and waiting, but I don't have those answers. Like I don't have those crystal balls as an investor. And I don't honestly think anybody does. If anybody tells you they know, and for the exact reasons, it's probably more or less just a guess and a speculation rather than actually knowing because the reality is nobody knows. But by framing the way we approach the stock market and looking at the concept of buying income, to me, it really strips out the question of, is this the bottom and how should we be approaching things? We're basically gonna be wanting to ask, we wanna ask different questions as an investor is really what I'm hoping to achieve throughout this video to kind of help you guys and maybe share with you something that you hadn't thought about before. If you enjoyed, by the way, give this video a thumbs up, but let's start things off by talking about what exactly is buying income. And I'm gonna give you an example that I've given in the past on the channel, but if you took a couple of machines, like these are literal machines and every year they print out a hundred dollar bill. So a money printing machine and you're an investor who has $1,000, both of these machines cost $1,000. If one of these machines were to go on sale or for whatever reason, the price was to get cut in half. So a 50% sale, a 50% drop, whatever the case is, this machine here is now worth $500, but it still prints out the exact same $100 bill. Well, as an investor, we can essentially buy machine two at half the price and we are buying double the income. Like we are now getting $200 bills printed every year versus going out and buying the $100 bill with a $1,000 machine simply because the price has changed, right? Our investment amount hasn't changed. Like the investment, the, the machines haven't changed other than the price has gone down. We have essentially doubled up our income. Now, if we were to essentially take these machines and just swap them out, they're no longer machines, but now they're stocks. So they're companies, it's a share. And these shares, as we know, go up and down in price every single day. And what they're printing out, let's assume that stays the same. Let's call that a dividend. Well, when the prices of these shares or machines get lower and lower and lower, that gives us as investors an opportunity to essentially lock in and buy more income. And I'll toggle over to my computer here. I'm just gonna get the screen recording set up. This is a website which I will include down below for you guys. It's just one that I found online called Omni Calculator, just a random uh, dividend calculator out there. And we're gonna look at this concept through an actual real life example. We're actually gonna be using the company Starbucks, okay? so. Ticker SBUX, Starbucks is just a stock that I've been liking, it's a stock that I've been buying, and it's a dividend stock, not a huge dividend stock, but a dividend stock nonetheless. And I think it's gonna do a really good job of explaining this. Because with this calculator, what we can do is essentially punch in the share price. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look back at Starbucks just a few months back before the big you know, crash or pullback, right? Before this 42% drop. But basically as of July, 30, July 22nd, Starbucks was trading here for $125 per share, right? So I'm gonna pay 100, I'm gonna punch in here $125 per share. This is what we have to pay in order to receive the dividend that Starbucks pays. And Starbucks, just FYI, pays basically $2 per year. They pay 50 cents or 49 cents per quarter. Let's just call that 50 cents per quarter. Times that by four, we're looking at a $2 annual dividend. For a $125 investment, we are buying $2 per year in income, which is a 1.6% yield. What I'm gonna share with you down here is that let's just assume for this example, we put in $100,000. So we invest $100,000 for 20 years. What this investment a few months back would have yielded us or returned us is essentially $37,000, $364, in income right? And that's nice. It's a nice little boost of income. Is it huge? A 1.6% yield, I would say is not that huge. 
Nevertheless, that's on a $125 share price. Well, let's take a look at where Starbucks trades today and we can see this right here at basically $72. After going all the way down and dropping down, which a lot of people would find is a scary, scary thing. Oh my gosh, my stocks are dropping down. Well, to me, the way I look at this from the concept of buying income is that at $72, which is what we can buy Starbucks at today, again, the dividend doesn't change. Like just because the share price is moving up and down, they still pay a $2 dividend. The share price doesn't impact what they pay out as dividends. That's completely independent. But at a $72 share price, you are now yielding 2.778% or 2.78% with this same investment. We have essentially doubled the amount of income that we are receiving from this position. Here, we're looking at 72 dollars or $73,000 over a 20 year period versus the last one, what was that? 30, 39,000 or something in that ballpark simply because the shares have come down and gotten cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. We're locking in the dividends at a cheaper and cheaper price. We can buy more shares. When somebody asks me, well, have we found a bottom yet? Like, is now the time to buy? Should we be waiting? That's such a tricky question to ask because I mean, like I said, we don't know the answer to that, but my answer and my approach would be if we look at this calculator and if Starbucks stock, just picking one stock in particular, were to drop another 20% or 25%, and now shares were trading at $50 per share, well, now we can essentially buy a 4% yield with our same investments. We're looking at $119,000 in dividends, at least looking over this 20 year period. And of course, this is all just hypothetical, but I but I want to explain to you guys how, and you maybe know this by now, for those that have been watching the channel for a while, but of course, the cheaper and cheaper we can pay for a share or for a stock, assuming they're able to keep this dividend and maintain the dividend, we can just buy more shares and earn more dividends, which makes a huge, huge difference over the, the long run. Like this to me is buying income. And these numbers were just used really for like explanation purposes, because in reality, with a company like Starbucks, Starbucks is a company that is not only paying dividends, but actively growing the dividend. So they've been growing their dividend basically in the double digits and whether they will continue to grow it at 15% over the next 20 years is yet to be seen and it will probably tail off. But the amount of income that we will receive as those are increasing over that period, there is so much power in dividend investing. And that doesn't even factor in capital appreciation. Like with Starbucks stock, in my humble opinion, we are paying a very fair price today and 20 years down the road, Again, 20 years is still a long time and we'd have to reassess throughout the way, but I'd anticipate that this stock will be higher today. So we're benefiting from all of these different aspects. And I don't know if I can speak for you guys, but personally, when you phrase things that way and you essentially detach yourself from the dollars and say, oh, my portfolio value is going up and down because this is a short-term thing, assuming you're holding a good quality company or good quality companies, to me, when you're able to pivot the way your brain thinks and kind of like just manipulate what you're looking at in the stock market, when I see the opportunity to buy more income and buy more yields in these high class quality companies, that doesn't f make me fearful. That doesn't make me scared of whether the stock market is dropping. That actually excites me. And as a long-term investor, there are so many benefits to be able to say, well, I don't need this capital for the next six months or the next year or the next five years or 10 years plus. Anything that happens today, tomorrow, next week, or over the coming years, honestly is irrelevant. I mean, it's obviously relevant, but truly like 20 years from now, it's not necessarily going to matter. But if I make the right decisions today by going out and buying the right stocks at a good time, locking in these yields and hopefully some capital appreciation on the way, that's a way that I personally approach a stock market crash like this. And again, it's just so much less scary when you think about it that way, it is actually significantly more exciting. And honestly, that's just kind of how I would answer the question to you guys saying, well, what's going on in our market? How are you approaching it? What are you doing with your portfolio? I'm buying income. I'm buying income at a better price. I'm not only buying you know, dividend stocks. I love dividend stocks. They are a massive part of my overall strategy as an investor, but I'm buying other stocks too. I'm really loving a stock like Google at the moment. Yes, they don't pay a dividend, but conceptually I'm you know, buying them at a lower price. Exact same idea. We're not buying income per se. Maybe they pay a dividend down the road, but um, nevertheless, as investors, we should come to invite and actually enjoy these opportunities. And of course, I'm talking about individual stocks in this video, but this would be the exact same if you are investing in index funds. Like if you're an ETF investor, this is exactly what you're doing. If you're dollar cost averaging and you're buying shares or ETFs on the way down, 
Yes, you're not picking individual stocks, but you are benefiting from the exact same concept, right? It's just more aggregate, it's more whole. But I wish I had the answers for you guys today in terms of, is this a bottom? Is this the next 2008? I don't know. I really, really don't. And as mentioned, if you find somebody who claims they know and thinks they know, I would just say be a little bit careful, you know, just do your own research, do your own due diligence. Because from my experience, nobody knows. Nobody knows if we just rebound tomorrow, if this is the peak or this is the bottom, excuse me, or if we have a lot more down to go. But just by rethinking the way that you look at the stock market, like just by changing your perspective, it can really change how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. I find that really funny personally, just as an ending note, is that whether it be the stock market or whether it be actually anything in life, you could have one event, like one thing that happens and two people can, can view that event very, very, very differently. For some person, it can be a tragedy and the worst thing that's ever happening. And for someone else, it can be an exciting opportunity or a, a, an amazing event it's the same event, it's just perceived differently. And I hope videos like this are just one additional way that helps you think like a true long-term investor. This is what this channel is all about. This is what I think you guys should be doing. Um, where this wouldn't apply, by the way, like where, just to finish off, and I probably should have said this at the beginning, like if you are an investor who is maybe like in retirement, like if you're somebody who literally needs the money soon, like your portfolio has been built up and you're like, well, I need to draw down from this or for whatever reason, you need your money for a down payment or something in the in the short term. Well, then a crash like this really does suck. Like then uh, when the stock market crashes 20, 30, 40%, well, then you're kind of hooped. But honestly, what I would say to someone in that position is you probably should have been, you should have been investing differently in the first place, right? We always talk about being prepared like a preparation rather than being a reactive investor, you probably shouldn't have been all in the equity markets if that was the case. But for all the other investors out there who do have time on their side, think about the concept of buying income and just thinking about it, just talking about it gets me super excited because it truly, truly is, especially when you're buying these like high class, world class stocks that are not only gonna pay them, but increase them year after year. It just gets me so excited. But hey, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this concept down in the comment section below. Is this how you view the stock market? If you did enjoy the video, please do not hesitate to leave a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so that you see our future posts and hit the bell for notifications. Of course, as always, we do have our investing academy down below. We have a community of thousands of Canadian investors who are learning each and every day, networking with each other, there's a hundred plus hours of training courses all on there for DIY investors. And it's only $20 a month. It's that first link in the description below as well as the pinned comment. But um, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.